In this final chapter we discuss the final two county charter officers in the county clerk and assessor and how their job is most essential to the functioning of in county. Lecture 14, Article 7. Commissioned officers continued. A county charter officer is not a constitutional officer as the former comes from the autonomous counties under home rule. The contest to determine who will be sovereign is a fair and equal election. As we need more than just a sheriff, trustee, and register to facilitate the most comprehensive and efficient transition and extensive while peaceful longevity of the charter. The change meant that something was wrong in the existing, so we can't say law is always ethically good, but it is morally right which is why legislative precedes judicial. The legislative naturally moves to build courthouses as it knows the sooner beneficial behavior is voluntarily performed which the judicial system ensures is the better off we all will be. The act precedes its judgment because the freedom ensured by the US Constitution presupposes our gravitation toward morality not only because it is a good thing to do, but also knowing that such consideration for lawfulness produces a more prosperous existence for the individual. As two is more than one, and three less than four, bodies form and grow under county jurisdiction which profit from providing their product or service under the county. The county seconds any motion from residents, businesses, or otherwise through the county clerk's office's concurrence and licensure in collecting business taxes. As the significance of anyone or body can be measured economically, the county clerk taxes that movement assuring growth. Assessors calculate the worth or partnerships assessments of all property, real, personal, mixed or otherwise other than state property in the jurisdiction of the county. So, the other two county charter officers include a qualified county clerk and an assessor. The county clerk as the fourth county charter officer has the unique responsibility of documenting the movement of the body through the distribution of licenses for such movement individual, business or otherwise all movement is subject to governance by the state through the power vested in the county. All progress under the county is subject to taxation, when transactions are handled under county jurisdiction more so for the documentation than the fee for a marriage, business, driver's license, or what have you. With the same powers, duties, and responsibilities as that under the previous charter unless specifically contrary in the new charter. By documenting the movements of residents, we create public demographics. With these we can determine how the economy improved from last year by looking at the cash flow of the county and seeing an increase try to maximize that attribute that helped our local companies prosper. With the register holding the official documents of county real and personal property, licensure is a privilege and in licensure the state through the county allows citizens to express their liberty driving, getting married, starting a business and etc. The county through the state and nation houses the achievement of citizens distinguishing sanctioned acts from their opposite. Thus, being lawful to drive from Memphis to Atlanta in four hours and not in two where those licensed reap the benefits of safe driving in others as in themselves. The last county charter officer is the assessor, where, as the body is in movement so too is that of real and personal property increasing and decreasing, however gradually. Except for property owned by the state the assessor has a responsibility to appraise, classify, and assess all real and personal property. This position becomes necessary in informing the register so that the trustee will know the amount owed for taxation. Why taxation seems like such a harsh word, when it is only there to improve the quality of life and standard of living for all residents, is beyond us. We tell customers at the tax office, the more you pay is the more you are worth. The assessor can't keep the property tax down as residents prosper more and more under county auspices. The county must rise with the times or passers-by will speed through our cities, and we without adequate law enforcement equipment will never be able to properly address justice under the new home rule charter. With all the county charter officers there are certain qualifications which must be met to ensure the officers are capable of performing their duties and responsibilities for which they will be compensated. They are the same qualifications as that of constitutional officers required by state law where the sheriff will also qualify as a certified corrections executive by the American Corrections Association from one year following installment. The sheriff may have in lieu of that certification three years experience as CEO of a prison or jail. With the exception of the assessor county charter officers are elected each Olympiad from August 2010 for the foreseeable future. As of September 1, 2012, an assessor was elected by voters for two years, and in 2014 at four-year increments afterwards. The county charter officers will not be subject to term limits unless noted in Article V of the County Home Rule Charter. In the unforeseen event of a vacancy amongst county charter officers the chief deputy from time to time as designated to the county attorney kin writing serves until the board of county commissioners elects an interim who will served until a successor is elected. Each officer is subject to recall as per state law in accordance with provisions of Article V. So, with the other two county charter officers being a qualified county clerk and assessor compensation is assured for officers and their staff. The mayor has an invaluable tool in the sheriff which is always equal to if not greater than other county charter officers because the main purpose of adopting the new charter was the establishment of greater order amongst residents. 
with the county clerk licensing movement and the assessor appraising property acquired from that movement, than with the trustee and register stand in society behind the sheriff's interpretation for democracy. As with the five county charter officers order was maintained, the sheriff's economic situation allows his salary to fluctuate between 80 and 95 percent of that of the mayor, whereas the others are regulated by state law for the betterment of the nation and state through the county.